in easy ball control exercises, ball control drills. If you're confident, you want to improve, you want to push yourself, as soon as that ball settled, boom, pop it up, and let's go again. Popping up different techniques, different parts of the foot. Okay, so we'll get into those, but just keep that idea in mind, I'm trying to settle the ball as quickly as possible, pop it back up as quickly as possible, perform the next skill. So number one is this toe control. Okay, so I'm controlling the ball on the toe and I'm trying to cushion it. Almost think of like a foot stall. So when you're doing a foot stall, your foot isn't going through the ball. Your foot is actually absorbing the ball into the ground. Okay, so do that with the toe. I'm, I'm almost bringing my leg backwards rather than putting my foot through the ball. I'm trying to reduce any bounce. Practicing with both feet, but I'm hitting. I'm not hitting here. I'm hitting on the toe of the boot and really absorbing it and almost bringing my leg backwards. Next would be a inside control. And when I'm practicing these, I'm just gonna practice that touch, let it settle. Okay, I'm trying to hit with the inside of the foot, not on the toe here, not on the heel. Nice cushion here. In order to do that, I need the mobility and the flexibility of the hips. A lot of players struggle. They can only open up their hip like this. But the more you practice this skill and really focus on flexing, really opening up, I want this to come if you don't turn it enough, touch is going to go that way. This inside touch, I just wanted to set right in the middle. Okay? So if you want to perform that skill properly, you have to have the ability to twist the foot and it's, it's the tightness in the hips and the groins in here. Okay, so if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. A lot of players will struggle with the proper contact point. So they're either hitting it here or they're hitting it here and it's bouncing off. You're trying to hit right in here. Make that flush, make that flat. And the point of contact, you want to meet it here. Not here, not here. You want to meet it here. And just settle that ball play as quickly as possible. Especially on your weaker side, the more you play with it, the more you compare your right to your left, you're gonna figure out that weaker side. Flush contact, play quickly. With eye contact. So similar to the toe control, remember absorbing the ball. A lot of players when they come to do their thigh, for some reason they're going through it again. Bring it down, absorb the ball. Okay, I want to get the ball on the ground as quickly as possible so I can play, unless I'm trying to set myself to play in the air. Okay, but for these, I'm trying to absorb as quickly as possible and then play. I want to hit on the thigh. It's called a thigh control, not a knee control. A thigh control. Okay, obviously sometimes it might come off the knee, and if it is off the knee, it has to be even more delicate because that's more bone, it's a harder surface. It's going to produce a bigger force if I'm going through it, and even if I'm coming down, I really gotta absorb it. Chest, for me, a lot of players, first of all, scared of the ball. So when it's time to chest, it's it's not an actual chest. They're not actually chesting it. They're kind of half, they're not showing their whole chest. So open up rather than scared or making a smaller surface. Open this up, and then the other thing is the arch. The lean back. Okay, if I really want to cushion that there, I have to lean back. But I... next, I was doing a head control, but right weight of touch, but different techniques. And here, I'm just thinking of wherever it comes, just dealing with it. So sometimes it might be more direct. Sometimes it might be coming from a little higher. All these touches, just get on the ground, play as quickly as possible. So a lot of players, when they're first starting, they can't get the timing right, and the ball's bouncing too much, and they're trying to get down. If that happens, sometimes it's awkward. Sometimes you have to make it work. The first one I actually did was a soul, and I wouldn't do that too many times in a match. 
You see Marcelo, Marcelo does that sometimes, like 50 yard ping across, just casual. And then go and play. But it's a good skill to practice ball mastery. When you're performing the skill, I want to see the focus and the effort. Actually watch the ball until it meets the ground. The next ground control it was an inside touch. A lot of players, when they're first starting, they can't get the timing right, and the ball's bouncing too much, and they're trying to get down on it. If that happens, sometimes soccer, sometimes you have to make it work. So right after that half volley, inside touch, and really focus on the movement. Technique is important. It's how you move with the ball. It's how you move your body. Be more athletic. Be more on the toes, less on the heels. But I'm really, I'm getting that touch with the inside of the foot. I'm bringing my hips over the ball. What I mean by that is, I'm turning my hips over the ball as opposed to just putting my foot out there and then moving. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move with my first touch. And if I want an even bigger change of direction, I'm turning my hips over even more. Same with the outside of the foot. Okay, you can see I'm, again, I'm watching, I'm focused. You don't want to be back here if you don't have to. I always want to be over the ball, because even if I have a bad touch, I can still get to the ball quickly. But this one, even more so, I'm focused on my, my hip movement. My hips are rounded, and I'm traveling with my first touch. I'm going somewhere with my first touch. Croy, same, same principles, timing of it, and just getting on top of the ball. It's like a little hop, it's like a little jump. I'm focusing on getting my planting leg out of the way, because if I don't, I'm just gonna hit it into myself. So a little drop will help me get that planting leg out of the way. For me, a lot of players, when they do a Croy, they're actually doing a chop rather than really curling the toes and dragging the ball behind them on that line. It's not here. You're gonna chop me here. I want that foot turned here. Almost go too much the wrong way. And you'll probably end up going centered. Okay, but just practice. And it's all about the timing. Getting it right on top of that bounce. Just don't let the ball hit the ground. Here you can have a little juggle, but still, just go one, two, pop. One, two, up. And I was using all different techniques. All the ones that we practiced. Okay, just gonna drop the ball. But a few little touches, pop it up, control that ball. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.